Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at sex linkage in genetic traits, which is one of the exceptions to Gregor Mendel's rules. I'm going to define a sex linkage, we're then going to talk about why it's the case of the sex chromosomes, and then look at the possible genotypes and do a couple of test crosses. Uh, so firstly, sex linkage is a case where the expression of a gene is dependent on the sex of an organism. This means that a gene is going to be expressed differently, whether it's in a male or a female. And this is why we don't get the uh, normal Mendelian ratios, because it's uh, sex dependent. And it was first discovered by Thomas Hunt Morgan, and he started experiments looking at fruit fly Drosophila in 1908, uh, and then won a Nobel Prize in the 30s, I think. Um, I've got another video on that if you're keen on finding more about him. Um, so let's have a look at why this happens. Um, so the 23rd pair of chromosomes is the sex determinant chromosome. So these are the ones that determine whether somebody is male or female. So in a male, you have XY, and in a female, you have XX. Now you can see from this depiction that the X chromosome is this beautiful big chromosome. It codes for uh, over a thousand different traits. Uh, and the Y chromosome is this crappy little one. It actually codes for less than a hundred traits. And this means that if a trait is coded on the X chromosome, and we refer to this as an X-linked trait, uh, if it's coded on the X chromosome, there's going to be about 900 genes there that don't have a second allele on the Y chromosome. Um, so this is going to cause problems, and we'll see why that is now. Uh, so looking at uh, the possible genotypes, and I'm going to use the example of the eye color of fruit flies, uh, just because that's what Thomas Morgan did, and that's how he discovered it. Um, so firstly, you just need to know that red is dominant to white, so white is a recessive. Um, and it's an X-linked trait, so the allele for this is found on the X chromosome and doesn't have a counterpart on the Y chromosome. Uh, so for females, it's fairly straightforward. They've got two chromosomes, two alleles, so the Mendelian ratios hold here. There's three possible genotypes. Uh, you can have either the red allele and red allele, the red allele and white allele, or the white allele and white allele. Um, and you can see that I've used white, uh, green here instead of white. That's just because I was using a black and white diagram, so white wouldn't show up that well. Um, but once we get into the males, you can see that they only actually have one X chromosome, so there's only one possibility, uh, or one allele there that they can have. It's only possible to have one allele. Uh, so therefore, there's only two genotypes, either the one where they have it on the X chromosome, so the red, or the one where they have the recessive one being the white eye. Um, so looking at uh, the phenotypes that are caused here, so we've got, as I said, red is dominant over white, so the homozygous dominant is going to be red, the heterozygous will be red, and the homozygous recessive will be white, and in males, dominance doesn't actually matter because you've only got two versions. So if you've got the red allele, you'll have red eyes, and if you've got the white allele, you'll have white eyes. What we'll do now is a couple of um, little crosses to show how this actually changes these ratios. Uh, so firstly, we're going to cross a male with white eyes with a female with red eyes. And I've chosen in this case to have the homozygous red eye. Um, so we can see that the white eye genotype is going to be the X little r for the white allele. Um, and Y, remembering that Y doesn't have um, the allele on it at all, so Y is just Y. Uh, for the Female, we've got the red, red phenotypes, uh, correction, genotypes on the X chromosomes. So we put that into our Punnett square and we get these ratios. Now it's important to note here, and that's why we've got the X's and the Y's, that these are the females, the XX, and these are the males, the XY. So what we can see firstly is that 100% of the males have red eye. They are the red and the Y, and 100% of the females have the red eye, being the genotype of the heterozygous genotype. Um, so that, that's split there. Uh, but all of these are going to be red. Now, if we were to change that around using a red eye male and a white eye female, we're going to get a different um, spread here. So with the red eye male, so he's got the red 
uh, allele and the Y, uh, and the uh, white eye female. So this uh, to be uh, have white eyes, that has to have the homozygous for white eye. So you can see the two recessive traits there. Now, if we put those into the cross, we see something a little bit different. So uh, we see for the males, 100% of males have white eyes, uh, being that they have the white allele and the Y chromosome, and 100% of the females have the red eyes uh, in, again, the heterozygous genotype. Now, another thing, this heterozygous genotype, um, because that uh, they have the recessive one there, uh, these, but it's not shown, we can also refer to these um, heterozygous females as carriers because they carry the gene for white eyes, but they don't express the gene. So we don't know that the gene's there until we do a test cross, which becomes more important once we look at something that's a bit more important than whether your eyes are white or red, but something like whether you're colorblind or whether you have hemophilia, um, which are both also X-linked recessive um, disorders. In this video, we have defined sex linkage as a trait which depends on the sex in the way that the gene is expressed. Uh, we've worked out that that's because those genes are found on the sex determinant chromosomes, that 23rd set. Um, and because of the size difference of the X and Y, uh, some genes are coded on the X that aren't coded on the Y. We've looked at the possible genotypes, uh, the two for males and the three standard ones for females. Uh, being the homo-dominant, homo-recessive, and hetero. And we've done a couple of example crosses with that. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.